Hi, and welcome to episode one of the Little House Knits podcast. My name is Michelle. I can be found on Ravelry and Plurk as Scully B. Uh, that's S-C-U-L-L-Y, the letter B. Um, on Plurk, it's S-C-U-L-L-Y and B-E-E. -E. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I'm not quite sure where to start, so I guess I'll start at the beginning. I have been knitting for about four years now. Um, I love it. I used to do cross stitch all the time and I just, I felt like I needed something a little different. Um, I, and now I'm kind of sad that I don't cross stitch nearly as much as I used to, but I'm completely in love with knitting. Um, so I've been doing that for four years. Um, uh, the reason that I decided to start a podcast is pretty much because my schedule doesn't mesh with anyone else's. Um, I honestly, I don't have any knitting friends. Uh, I taught one guy at work, but um, he, like me, has small children and it's kind of hard to match up schedules. Although I must say I am quite excited that I drew someone into my addiction with me. <laughs> um, the other reason my schedule doesn't really mesh up is I work second shift. So when a lot of people are going to knitting meetups, I'm at work. So you probably won't find me talking about TV or anything like that, unless it's Doctor Who. Um, you won't find me talking about TV too much, only because I'm just never home when TV's on and during the day. I just, I like the sound of a silent house. Um, instead of the TV, unless I'm listening to podcasts, and then I enjoy that. Um, so I've been knitting for about four years, um, and I, like I mentioned, I taught my friend at work to knit. I taught my seven-year-old to knit, but he's kind of hit or miss with it. Sometimes he'll want to sit with me, other times not so much. So, um, the other reason that I decided to do this is, um, I'm sure watching this right now you can tell that I'm a bit nervous or awkward. Um, my motto for 2013 is, um, making my life better by making it harder. And I know that sounds really odd, but, um, it makes sense. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to challenging myself and pushing myself outside of my comfort zone because because the few times I have done it and I I thought oh I can't do this I can't do this and I, I pushed myself and I did it I just want that feeling so maybe I'm I hope that's the right way to say it making it better by making it harder um, so that's where I'm at um, and yeah, I gotta get myself out of my comfort zone because nothing really changes if you stay in your comfort zone. So, um, right now it's Saturday, January 19th, and I don't think I will continue to to um, record on Saturdays. It's kind of a little hectic. Right now I am using the 20 minutes I have while my husband goes to pick up um, our two boys from their friend's house to get this done, but I just... I needed to do it today. January 19th is a silly yet significant date to me. So, um, and I just, I figured if I didn't do it today, I was never going to do it. And I was going to chicken out and then there goes my motto for the year. So I'm going to jump right in and tell you what I'm working on right now. Um, actually, no, I'll show you what I finished so far. That's easy. Get the easy stuff out of the way. Um, the first thing I finished this year was a pair of stripy socks for my youngest son. He's seven, like I mentioned. Um, he, poor thing, his brother loves traffic cone orange and I knit him a pair of socks earlier in the fall and he's, mama, when am I going to get my green socks? So without delaying anymore, the poor kid waited long enough, I knit him some lovely stripy green socks. Um, this is Lollipop Yarns, which I I love. I, that woman has magic, magic dyeing powers. I, I don't I don't know how she does it. I would love to learn how to dye yarn, but that might be next year's project. Um, 
So I knit these for him. This, what did I knit these on? These are on size one, 2.25 millimeter needles. And um, I was kind of taking my time with them. And then he said to me on last Friday, he asked me if they were almost done. And I said, oh, not quite. And he said, but I wanted to bring them for show and tell. It's like, okay, well, I promise if I have to stay up all night getting them done, I will get them done. Mind you, I was probably this far into the second sock and I'm a painfully slow knitter. Um, I was up, I think, until about 2.30, 3 o'clock Sunday morning, finishing them and weaving in ends. And uh, But the end result was worth it because uh, I guess one of the kids asked him if they could have his socks. And when Seamus said no... He asked, the friend in his class then asked if I would knit another 24 pairs for everyone else in the class. I was like, I will not do that, but I will teach their moms how to knit if they really would like some socks. So, um, these were a big hit. Um, so that's my biggest, well, no, that's my most current finished object. My, um... Actually, no, that's it. I'm sorry. That's my only finished object right now. I am so close to being done on my next finished object, which is a baby gift. Um, two people at work are pregnant right now. Um, the, the, the guy at work that I taught to knit, his wife is pregnant, and he wanted to knit the baby a blanket. So I can't knit his baby a blanket. And then I was thinking, I wanted to really knit something cute because I have boys. I, I'm... I'm done having kids. I'm never going to have a little girl unless I have a granddaughter. Far, far in the future. Um, so I decided I wanted to knit something for a little girl since both people are having girls. So I don't... My printer was running out of ink. I don't think this is going to show up very well. But this is the Emma Tunic. And it's just so cute. And this is by Jennifer Alexander. And I so wish I could do the little sheep. It's just so cute. Okay. So I'm doing this out of some, oh, and I'm going to show my bag, my beautiful, my beautiful little dancing sheep bag with the squirrels on it. I love it. I am doing this out of Barocco Vintage. No, Barocco Weekend. Sorry, I'm using the vintage for something else. <laughs> this is Barocco Vintage, and I don't have the color number. I cannot find the ball band anywhere. But it's this beautiful purple color. Um, and the green is, I believe, just a little bit of um, spa that I had left over, just for a little contrast. So, and I'm doing this on size 7, 4.5 millimeter needles. And I, I mean, I have no reason to keep it, but I just want to hug it and smush it. It's just so cute. So that's pretty much it. I, I'm not usually too monogamous, but I'm I'm being very good with monogamy lately. So there's that. Um, and then in my fancy, hefty knitting bag, project bag, <laughs> I am knitting just um, a modern rib hat by Susan B. Anderson. And my goal really this year is to try not to buy too much yarn. So I'm knitting as much as I can on all the... Um, leftovers that I have. So this is Bernat Softy Chunky and I'm using size 10 and a half 6.5 millimeter needles for this. Um, I need to join a new skein which is why there's nothing attached to it right now. So there's that. My goal right now is one hat a month and one pair of socks a month because I have more sock yarn than I need to do with and who couldn't use a hat. So I will have tons of hats to give away in theory by the end of the year. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm working on right now. I have a couple of things, um, that I would like to start soon. Um, but I don't have all my patterns and yarn and everything quite sorted out. So, um, I can tell you that I will be starting a pair of socks for myself with some more of the wonderful lollipop yarns in, uh, it's purple. Purple and black. I can't remember the name of the colorway, but I will show it to you soon. Um, and I'm secretly knitting a pair of socks for my husband. Um, for Christmas, I knit my very first sweater for him. Um, it was the Iced by Carol Feller. And um, because we are 
huge Doctor Who fans, I knit it in sort of TARDIS-y colors. Um, I was going to hold it up for you, but I am so close to the camera right now that I would probably knock it over. Um, you can go to my project page. It's called The Iced TARDIS, and um, it's... It's actually the first sweater I don't want to steal from him. Not because I don't like the way it came out, but I it, you knit it with bulky yarn and it just feels very heavy to me. And I'm not a huge fan of a giant, heavy, bulky sweater. So, but he loves it. And the whole time I was knitting it, he was, you know, he was like a puppy. Is it done yet? Is it done yet? Are you going to finish it? Is it done yet? So, um, at least I know it was going to a very happy recipient. And I, I think he wants a pair of socks, but I think he's a little afraid to ask for them right now. So, um, socks for him, socks for me. Um, I, I, I think I'm going to knit some baby socks for the two people at work because how can you not knit little teeny baby socks? They're so cute. So that's that. Um, I also, I'm going to the Zombie Knit Apocalypse Retreat in June. I'm very excited about that. So I'm in the process of picking out my colors for the, um, the cowl that's going on for the shawl. Um, I have some colors I'm playing around with. I just I can't settle on a pattern. So I might slightly modify the Piper's Journey, but I, I'm not sure yet. So when I have that figured out, I will let you know. Um, in the meantime, I think that's it for me for now. Um, if you stuck with me, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, you can PM me on Ravelry or Plurk. I would, I would love to hear from you. Um, I realize it's a bit dark behind me. I'm kind of working on um, on my my recording space right now. Um, the podcast is called Little House Knits because we have a really tiny house. We have about 700 square feet for two adults, uh, two children who are constantly, rapidly growing, and uh, one cat who thinks she owns everything. So it's not a lot of space for all of us. Um, perhaps someday, if there's a call for it, I will give you the, um, basically, the spin-around tour of the house. You take three steps in the front door, spin around, and you've kind of seen the whole house, but... Um, I am a sucker for small houses, so I'm not going to complain too much. I will say, I wish we had a second bathroom, though. Um, but otherwise, um, that's it, and I hope to see you again next week. Uh, hope to have a, a more set schedule soon. And until then, happy knitting, and thank you for stopping by the little house. Bye-bye.